I don't think there's a person on Earth who isn't terrified of the gruesome, bloodthirsty, enormous reptiles that used to roam the Earth 230 million years ago. The Dinosaurs When they were discovered in 1824, scientists were shocked that such creatures could have existed on our planet. But were dinosaurs the scariest creatures on Earth? Definitely not. Every year, we discover new remains of creatures so terrifying that the Tyrannosaurus pales in comparison. We're now going to explore when the real Bigfoot walked the Earth, why you were lucky not to be born at a time when these birds roamed the planet, and how this fish, having no teeth, earned the title of the most dangerous predator of the seas. Long before the dinosaurs, about 260 million years ago, there was a creature roaming the Earth, and everywhere it lived, it was at the top of the food chain. I'm talking about the Gorgonopsia, the most dangerous predators of the Permian period, and the deadliest of them all lived in what is now Russia. This is Enestronchavia. They were the size of a large bear with an 18-inch long skull and 5-inch long saber-shaped teeth. It is unknown whether they had fur, scales, or bare skin, but it is known that in the area where they lived, they were feared by all. It mainly hunted large herbivores, such as Pariasaurus and Scutosaurus. Enestronchavia was a four-legged animal with an upright gait. It measured 14 feet in length and weighed about 550 pounds. Compared to modern animals, it filled the position of large cats, such as the jaguar or tiger on the food chain. It inhabited the environment in which lions now live, only much more arid, except that it did not hunt in packs like lions, but alone like the massive tiger. Enestron Chavia would have been an extremely fast, long-distance runner. Its method of hunting must have been to lurk unsuspecting prey. Then it would leap onto the creature using its speed to bring the animal down, then bite it from the neck, from which the prey would die. Because of its extremely harsh and arid environment, it had a dull coloring most likely gray or brown to blend in with its surroundings and sneak up on its prey. Gorgonops were incredibly dangerous predators, and despite their unusual appearance, you can tell right away that they are hunters, and you'll stay away from them. But what about a huge bird? If you saw one on the horizon, would you be scared? If not, that would be your worst mistake, because there's a 100% certainty that it would kill you. These creatures were called Forest Racidae and deservedly got a second title of Terror Birds. After all, in the places where these carnivorous birds lived, they were at the top of the food chain. And they lived not too long ago, roughly 100,000 years ago. So this bird may have already seen our ancestors and probably hunted them. Forest Racidae lived in North and South America and were the ultimate predators, meaning they had no competition. They ranged in height from three to 10 feet and could weigh almost a ton. What is scary about this bird is not its size, but that if you saw it, you would be unable to flee because the terror bird could reach speeds of up to 30 miles per hour. The necks of these birds were designed for repetitive strikes, and the muscles were strong enough to plunge the hook tip of their beak into the body of their prey to kill it. And the terror bird had a hooked claw in its paw, with which it could grip and hold its prey. That's why it wouldn't leave you with any chance of survival. It's a real biological killing machine. Perhaps if these predators had spread beyond North America, human ancestors would not have survived. However, if we had evolved from Gigantopithecus, these horrible birds would not have even thought of attacking us. Gigantopithecus is literally translated from Latin as giant ape. This creature could justifiably be called a real yeti because it is incredibly similar to what we tend to imagine when we hear the word. Like the mythical Bigfoot, the Giganthopithecus inhabited Asia about 350,000 years ago, but not in the Himalayas, but in South China, Thailand, and Vietnam. This great ape was about 9.8 feet tall and weighed 441 to 661 pounds. But despite its enormous size, this monkey was a herbivore, which is why it became extinct. In fact, its extinction happened when tropical forest in South Asia began to disappear. This creature has become very popular in cryptozoology as it proves the existence of Yeti, and cryptozoologists believe that this creature can still live in the mountains of Tibet, which is, of course, unlikely. But one creature that seems really fantastic is Hallucigenia. This creature looks like it was made in spore, 
You can write in the comments if you still remember such a game. But this creature was real. However, it went extinct almost 500 million years ago. When scientists first discovered the remains of this creature in 1911, they could not understand how it moved and decided that it did it with the help of spikes. This theory sparked a lot of discussions, particularly about how the hallucinogenia walked on unbent legs, but it was the best interpretation at the time. But by the end of the 20th century, scientists concluded that it was more likely that hallucinogenia was moving around on tentacles on the ocean floor. And in 2015, scientists were even able to determine the position of the creature's head and find a mouth with tiny teeth. Cute creature, isn't it? The hallucinogenia measured between 0.2 and 2.2 inches in length. The mouth opening was round, and the mouth and pharynx were covered with needle-like teeth pointing towards the esophagus. This structure worked like a piston, sucking food inward, but its diet remains unknown. Around the same time that hallucinogenia was roaming the ocean floor, there was a fearsome predator of the Devonian period swimming closer to the surface, which, without a single tooth, terrified all underwater inhabitants. And I'm talking about Dunkleosteus. It's a huge armored fish that lived on Earth about 400 million years ago. These monsters reached at least 16 feet in length and weighed 1,466 pounds. But some scientists claim the creature could have been as large as 32 feet and weighed about five tons. Dunkleosteus was a giant predator, the largest predator of the Devonian period. What made it so powerful was its protective armor and its powerful jaws. Interestingly, Dunkleosteum had no teeth at all. Instead, the gruesome appendages of its jawbones evolved to form a deadly pair of scissors that clenched with a terrifying force to catch and even decapitate its prey. Because of its strong jaws, Dunkleosteus could cut through an armor as strong as a chainmail. However, they could not digest these parts and spewed out shells, as well as any other inedible parts of their victim's anatomy. Dunkleosteus was the ultimate predator and would kill anything in its path. This included even its own kind. As a result, Dunkleosteus were often cannibal. Scientists argue that sharks would definitely have been easy prey for the armored fish and would easily have been on its menu. Fortunately for them, Dunkleosteus, along with other armored fish, went extinct in the late Devonian mass extinction. But sharks also had their own monsters that even surpassed Dunkleosteon in size and bloodthirstiness. And I'm talking about the Megalodon, the biggest shark that ever existed. Compared to the dinosaurs and the Dunkleosteus, this creature lived as recently, 23 to 3.6 million years ago. Megalodon is thought to be the largest predator that ever existed. Mature adults average 33.5 feet in length, with the largest specimens measuring 58.7 feet. Some scholars, however, argue that the largest forms may have been as long as 82 feet. The largest surviving tooth of the Megalodon is 6.9 inches long nearly three times the length of a modern white shark. In addition, the megalodon possessed a ferocious bite. Its bite diameter was 9.8 feet, several times larger than that of an average-sized white shark. The megalodon was the ultimate predator in its habitat. It preyed on fish, whales, and seals. But unfortunately, this shark's days were over when a more ferocious and agile new predator entered the marine realm and simply left the megalodon without food. And that is called the Liviathan. This creature was named after the biblical sea monster, and for a good reason, because this prehistoric sperm whale was the scariest whale on Earth. It inhabited the oceans of the southern hemisphere about 10 million years ago. The creature was no larger than a modern sperm whale, about 44 to 57 feet. But unlike sperm whales, this whale was incredibly bloodthirsty. The modern sperm whale has no functional teeth in its upper jaw, and only small teeth in its lower jaw, which are mostly used in fights. The modern sperm whale feeds by suction, relying on the rush of water to bring prey into its open mouth. But Leviathan's mouth was full of huge teeth, the largest of which were a foot long and about four inches wide. The Leviathan was evidently snatching its prey with a powerful bite, inflicting deep wounds and tearing away its flesh, as orcas do, but with a skull three times as big. The Leviathan was at the very top of the food chain and must have needed a lot of food. While modern sperm whales eat mostly squid, the Leviathan used its intimidating teeth to kill its own kind, giant baleen whales. As we said above, this whale may have interacted with the great extinct shark Megalodon, which competed with the whale for the same food source. 
and perhaps the ocean has seen these two monsters fight each other more than once. In the end, the Leviathan won and lasted several million years longer than the Megalodon. If you are interested to know about the biggest creatures that existed on our planets, you can watch another one of our videos. And also, don't forget to subscribe and give us a like. See you soon.